Hello, I'm Gregor Wolf, and in this demo, I want to show you an integration between the SAP Business Technology Platform via Power Automate to Microsoft Teams. I'm running a Fury frontend powered by a cloud application program model backend. And in via this Fury app, I can create or request approvals. Uh, these approvals are then saved in the cup backend and after this successful save uh, via the destination service there is a power automate flow triggered and this power automate flow creates an approval in the team's approval app it's a standard application provided by microsoft and the user gets then notified and can open this notification look up details again in a Fiori app with a link that is sent to this approval part and can also approve directly from here in the Teams application. And this triggers uh, the flow again and the flow can then reach out via a custom connector um, also using uh, OAS2 authentication uh, back to the cup backend and change the status in here. So let's try this now in practice. So I'm here in the approvals application and let's create a new approval. So uh, the approver will be me and the changed entity, so that is the name uh, which will be used in the subject. So uh, test for demo video. And let's move to the next field. Uh, so we're saving the draft, we're using the draft mode. And let's click the save button. So now the flow should be started. And I already got the notification here in Teams. So let's switch to here to see what uh, the approval for test for demo video requested. And we see an attachment and please decide about this request to the body. Okay, let's check the details. So we are now back in our Fury application and the details of this are looked up. Okay, I'm fine with that. And let's set it to approved. Okay, and after this approval, let's go back into this application and let's search again and what you might have noticed is the status changed from R which is requested to A which is approved. Let's check also the negative case. Let's create a new approval for rejection and let's save this and what I will do I will click on the notifications that I get for Teams and set open now the details for that. And let's do the rechecked. Yeah. And so the short uh, name for rechecked will be N. So let's check now it's in requested. Let's do the search again and we see N. Perfect. And let's have a look a little bit on the flow. So this is a HTTP request that is sent from. SAP Business Technology Platform from the Cloud Application Program Model app. It has a JSON body where we see several fields and they are used to assign uh, that to a specific approver. So that is the email address. Um, there is a title you know, which goes for the subject. We have a body, the so URL, and the item link description is again the subject. And then it waits until uh, everyone approved. And uh, then makes a decision. Uh, the response from the approver is approved. Then it uh, this equals to true, which is specified here in Power Automate with yes. And then I reach out to approve or reject. And that are our custom connectors. And this is a custom connector uh, that I've created, uh, which authenticates, as you can see here, via OS2. So, uh, yeah, that's all. And 
thanks for your attention. And a really powerful combination, business technology platform and Power Automate.